Are you thinking of taking the family to the park to get some of their wiggles out? Or perhaps you're trying to plan a birthday party and you want a nice outdoor area to have a barbecue? We have some beautiful parks here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Let's dive right in and find out where some of these parks are. Starting off with Golden Valley Park. They have picnic areas that you can reserve to host a birthday party or just a gathering with some friends. They have barbecues available should you want to have a feast and there are plenty of picnic tables. The little ones can enjoy the child's play area with equipment and slides. Your four-legged friends can get their wiggles out at the dog park. There is one area for the big dogs and one for the little pups. There are doggy water bowls that can be moved around which is a nice touch. The public restrooms here are very clean along with the park. You can play basketball on their half courts. There's a wide open grass area if you want to throw a frisbee or just run around. Number two on my list is the David March Park. This park is a tribute to a fallen deputy and really is one of the most beautiful parks. It's nestled on the top of a quiet hill. There is also a workout area for the parents, shaded picnic benches, a barbecue area, and some really cool play structures that focus a lot on climbing. There is plenty of space to kick a ball or fly a kite. Number three on my list is Heritage Park. This park is beautiful and great for the whole family. Soccer fields, tennis courts, trails for walking or running, a big playground with structures for both younger and older kids, a picnic area, and clean bathroom. The bathroom offers a baby changing station. The playground, picnic area, and bathrooms are all very close together, which is great for a family outing or a party. There are plenty of trash cans nearby as well as a recycled bin. The picnic area is covered and there are plenty of trees nearby offering shade on hot days. This park is a non-smoking park. Dogs are allowed but must remain on leash at, at all times. The paths are very well lit in the evening. There are tennis courts, grass fields, permanent cornhole game, and access to the hiking trails. This park is hidden off the corner of McBean and Newhall Ranch. The Paseos are also nearby, so pack your bikes and get some exercise. Number four on my list is Dr. Richard A. Rue Memorial Park. This is a great park with so many fun things to do. There are multiple slides, a rope wall, rock climbing, monkey bars, swings, spinning seats, and multiple levels to climb. The younger kids have their own separate area. There are plenty of sidewalks to scooter or ride bikes. You can play basketball and tennis, and there are picnic tables with a large grassy area. The park is very well maintained. Number five on my list is Tesoro Adobe Historical Park. This is a great park with a little bit of history. Keep an eye on their calendar and tour schedule. This park was the property of the silent film star Harry Carey, one of the early stars of the Western film genre. The structures were built in the period between 1920 and 1930 and have been very well preserved. The tours that are docent led are offered Wednesday through Sundays from 1 to 4 p.m. There are two entrances to two different parks. The lot on the left is a private park and recreation grounds for residents of the housing development and the one on the right is the county owned historic park. Just go through the open gate. This is a great way to spend the day. Hi, I'm Kim Block, local realtor who loves helping buyers and sellers navigate the market, but I also love sharing all about Santa Clarita. I would love to help you as well. My information is below in the description. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel and you'll be notified every time I do a new video. Number six on my list is the Santa Clara River Trail. This isn't a park with a playground and it's more for walking and hiking, but there is an area to have a picnic after you come back from your adventure. Santa Clara River Trail is an awesome multi-use trail spanning across Santa Clarita Valley around eight miles of east-west bike, pedestrian, and some equestrian trails that interconnect to other trails and paseos in Santa Clarita, including San Francisco Creek Trail and South Fork Trail. You can go and check out the bridge from the Lost Boys. The trail is very well maintained and does not have much elevation, which makes it an easy ride and it's well marked for cyclists and runners. This is a great location for sunsets and a photo shoot. Number seven is Bokeh Canyon Park. This park is tucked away back in a neighborhood, so it's nice and quiet. They have a nice baseball field that is used a lot for little leagues, basketball courts, and two tennis courts that are very well kept and clean. There is a nice playground with restroom facilities. The park is one of the original parks in Santa Clarita. Number eight on my list is the Cheeseboro Park. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so let's just call it Cheeseburger Park. It's a picturesque park in a beautiful area near Copper Hill in Valencia. 
It's funny because it's on Sunset Hill and I'm sure that's why they named the street that because the sunsets from this park are amazing. There are pathways that lead up to the picnic areas, baseball field, and play structures. The structures are decked out in beautiful nature-inspired colors like green, orange, and yellow. There is plenty of plush green grass to let your little ones run around and get their wiggles out. The play structure will keep the kids busy for a long time. The kiddos can bring their own car, train, or ball to play on the track. There is a play set for the older kids as well. Number nine on my list is Summit Park. I have very fond memories of teaching my kids how to ride their bikes here. This is definitely one of my favorites. They have city tennis courts that have lessons and games. This is a beautiful place to take walks and see some wildlife. You can have your pups come along, but they do need to be on a leash. There are two playgrounds, one for the older kids and another for your little ones. This is a beautiful place to bring a blanket, pack a picnic, and just enjoy the scenery. There isn't a lot of parking, so you may have to walk a bit and no public restrooms. Number 10 on my list is also another one of my favorites, and I'm sure many others. It's Central Park. This is where they have concerts in the park. If you do decide to go to concerts in the park, make sure you go early, pick your spot, and pack a nice picnic basket with your beach chairs and wait for the tunes to start. They always have great bands. The fun doesn't stop there. There's hiking, games, riding bikes, roller skating, and a doggy park. One for the larger pups and one for the smaller pups. I would love to hear what your favorite parks are in my comments below. Now watch my next video on the pros of Santa Clarita.